Welcome back to my channel, The Candy Guy, where I talk about treats for the sweet tooth. Today, I'm going to talk about Curly Whirly. <laughs> The Curly Whirly was introduced by Cadbury in 1970 in the United Kingdom. The Curly Whirly is a chewy caramel ladder draped in delicious milk chocolate. Those aren't my words. <laughs> That's how the candy bars advertised. <laughs> but they probably will be my words, especially the delicious milk chocolate part. For many years in the 70s, the British comedic actor Terry Scott was the face of Curly Whirly. He was in many of their commercials that I found on YouTube and on different advertisements for the Curly Whirly. He was also in, on the Curly Whirly bar for some of the rappers. I'm going to be honest with you though, I'm not British and that's also before my time so I don't know who he was but I decided to add that bit of information for my older viewers in case you know who Terry Scott is. Sorry, <laughs> I just, I'm clueless. <laughs> okay, this piece of information is going to be very confusing, and I apologize in advance. But when I did research for the Curly Whirly Bar, many other candy bars popped up with information. Apparently the Curly Whirly was copied multiple times exactly how it is. Okay, try to stay with me. I'm going to go quick here. <laughs> in 1970, the Curly Whirly was introduced by Cadbury. A couple years later, the Mars Company made their own version of the Curly Whirly and called it the Marathon Bar and introduced it to the U.S. At that same time, in Canada, the Macintosh Company introduced their version and called it the Wigwag. Now this is where things get weird. <laughs> in Germany, the Mars Company introduced the Marathon Bar, but they called it the Three Musketeers. Which is weird because the Mars Company already had a Three Musketeers bar. So why call a different same bar, different bar, the same thing as of a bar you already have? I don't know. Which is even more confusing because the U.S. has their Marathon bar, which is made by the Mar Mars Company, and then the Mars Company though is selling a Marathon bar in the U.K., but it's totally different. And that candy bar though is known today as the Snickers which is totally different from a marathon bar or the Curly Whirly. <laughs> it's so confusing. And when I looked up Curly Whirly, I was confused on why I was getting all these different candy bars. And I wasn't the only one confused. Collecting candy has here an image of all those candy bars. And <laughs> they were getting the same confusion. So thank you, Collecting Candy, for <laughs> sorting everything out. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> So there's the Curly Whirly bar, the ladder or lattice of caramel intertwined and draped in milk chocolate. Okay, so I made the mistake of trying to like break it apart to show you guys the inside. <laughs> chocolate was getting everywhere, so I just mangled this bar. <laughs> but anyways, let's give this a try. Okay, honesty hour. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my videos, those of you watched many of my videos, you know I'm not a fan of caramel. Why am I not a fan of caramel? Because I don't like how it sticks all over your teeth, all over your mouth, everywhere. I'm still working pieces out of my teeth. I was chewing on it for about two minutes, that one bite. <laughs> it was good caramel, let me tell you that. It was delicious. A good vanilla caramel flavor and the Cadbury milk chocolate, which I love Cadbury milk chocolate, was really good. So it's all good. It's just, you know my opinion with caramel and it's sticking everywhere. <laughs> I want to give a big thank you to my friend Darkseid. That's his Twitter name. He doesn't want me to use his real name. He likes his privacy, but he's the one that sent me the Curly Whirly. Well, actually, he didn't just send me that candy bar. He sent me a whole box of Cadbury bars. Ah, <laughs> forgot I was wrapped. And not just that, he sent me a little box of different British candies, um, St. Ma's, I think. I don't know if that's I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it has a bunch of other little candies. And then a whole box of Japanese candy, which I don't even know what they're called because everything's in Japanese. <laughs> 
So again, a big thank you to my friend Darkseid. Like, thank you so much. Like, seriously. <laughs> thank you for watching this week's video of The Candy Guy. Links for the Penny Candy Store and myself will be in the description of this video. I post videos every Friday, so I shall see you all next Friday. Have a sweet day. Bye. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos, and share if you'd like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And click some of the links. <laughs>